Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 17th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can add links to our application. Okay, just quickly before we start, I am going to, in this tutorial, add my styles.css and my logo into the public folder in this application right here. Okay, so you can see I've added the logo and in the styles.css I've added those styles. They're both available on my GitHub repository right here, Angular 2 playlist. I've left a link in the description down below if you want to download those as well and pop them in this public folder. Because now we're going to start building our application up and just by adding those styles and the image, it's already looking a little bit better, okay? So, once you've done that, pop it in the public folder and you'll notice from a previous tutorial, if you've been following along, what we did was link up to the style sheet right here in the index.html file there. So now it's gonna load in these styles and that's why it looks different on the page, cool. All right, so now that's out of the way, I wanna concentrate on linking up the different states, if you like, in your application or the different views or components. So let's get rid of those two for a minute. And if we go to the application in the browser, these are our two links right here or rather they're not working at the minute, but if we add a couple of links, we'll go to our um, app.component view right there, and what we're gonna do is add in our links right here, okay? So, currently it just says link, but if we add in a couple of anchor tags, let's do the first one. This is how we'd normally do it, right? A href equals whatever URL, okay? And then, for example, this could be forward slash, just for home. And then if we do the same thing underneath for the directory, we'll paste that in here, forward slash directory, and call this directory as well. Then this should work fine, right? I'll save that, and then when we click one of these links, because we've set up routing in the last tutorial, then this should work. So if we refresh now over here, then now we see these two links here, home and directory, okay? And they look like this because the CSS takes care of it. So if we click now on directory, this should work. And you can see directory works. And if we click now on home, there we go. This is the home view. But you'll notice one thing. Each time we did that, the page reloaded, which isn't great. Ideally, we don't want to force that kind of loading onto the user. What we would like is if it loaded in automatically without requesting a new page. So we can do that by using the router link directive. And in the last tutorial, what we did is we added this router directives in here and we imported it. And that means we can use the router link directive as well as this router outlet one that we used. So instead of doing this href business right here, what I'm gonna do is delete those. And instead, I'm gonna use the router link directive. And we just do our square brackets and we say router link and then equal that to something. And you'll notice right here that this is property binding. We use the square brackets when it's property binding. And the way we provide a link to Angular right here is by passing along an array. And in this array is gonna be all the different segments of our particular URL. For example, if we go to forward slash directory, then this right here is a segment and we pass it in here. If it was forward slash directory forward slash Ryu, this is a segment and this is a segment, okay? So we passed both of them in here. For now, we've just got one segment on each one, directory for directory and just forward slash for home. So all we can do is come here and we can pop a string in. Now we can either leave this blank for home or do a forward slash, that's either fine. Um, and down here, if we do the same thing, I'm gonna grab that, copy it and paste it here and set this equal to directory and that's the segment for that URL. So if we save it now, come over here and refresh, and you'll see this still works. If I go to directory, click it, still works, but now it's much, much quicker. We're not requesting a new page every time from the server. It just loads in the component as we request it. Pretty cool, right? So that is how we set up links in Angular. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.